Hey guys, welcome in this new video. I hope that everyone is doing great. So today I want to talk about a subject that I do believe is really important. And if you follow me on social media, you know that I often write about this. And yesterday I realized that I never recorded a video about it. So I thought of why not recording this and this is what I'm doing today. So I want to talk about the subconscious mind. So first of all, before I get into this, you need to understand that your mind is divided up in two parts. Some theory says that it's three parts, but most theory says that it's two part. So you have your subconscious mind and you have your conscious mind. So today I want to focus on the subconscious mind, but before that I will just explain the difference between those two so you understand after more of what I'm talking about. So the subconscious mind, or no, let's start with the conscious mind actually. So the conscious mind is the part in your of your mind basically that you know you're doing something when you're doing it. So for example, now I'm recording a video and I know what I'm saying. So it's the conscious mind that is working right now. But let's say that you're in the street and someone, you know, come from nowhere and try to shoot you. And so now you run away from that and you try to hide to not get killed. Well, in that situation, it will be the subconscious mind that will play a big part and not your conscious mind. So the subconscious mind are basically all the motivations and the fear and all the reasons uh, the deep reasons behind your actions that you do. So today I want to focus on that part, the subconscious mind, and I want to uh, focus on two things. And you will understand why your subconscious mind can be extremely powerful if you know how to use it. And it can also play against you if you don't use it the right way. So first of all, the subconscious mind is 30,000 times more powerful than your conscious mind. And what I mean by that is that your conscious mind, you know what you're doing, right? But your subconscious mind, it's so powerful that when you do an action that is motivated by your subconscious mind, you will not even realize that you're doing it at a conscious level. But you will still do it because of the subconscious level. So that is what it means and that is why it is so much more powerful. And so the big thing... There's, if there's one thing that you need to remember about this video, it will be the following, is that the subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between a lie and a truth. So that means that you can literally trick your subconscious mind into believing things that are not even true. And so the problem is that most people don't know how to use it. And so if you say, if you constantly say to yourself, I don't love myself or I'm sad or I'm not good enough, well, guess what? Even if it's not true, your subconscious mind will believe it. And so these will be now the motivations of your actions. And so you will act a different way on the conscious level, but because of the deepest motivations that come from your subconscious mind. So if you say the wrong thing to yourself, you will not do the right actions and that will be on a conscious level but because of the subconscious level and it's the same thing when you do affirmations right we often talk about the power of affirmations but they are only powerful if you know how to use them and the mistake that a lot of people do is that they will say things like oh i want to become a profitable trader i want to have a business i want to be a social media influencer or whatever they want to be and one year from today you will get what you want you wanted to be a trader so one year from today you will still want to be a trader so when you say i want to be a trader it's not the best affirmation that you should tell yourself the best one should be i am a trader i am happy i am a business owner even if it's not true and people will think that you're crazy when you do this because, you know, <laughs> you're saying that you are something that, you're don't, that you are not already. But the point is, is that your subconscious mind will not know if it's true or if it's not. And so that will be uh, the motivations of your actions that you do on a daily basis. And so this is what will attract what you actually want. So stop saying that you want this or that you need this or that you will eventually be this. No, say that you are already in that position and that will play a big difference in your life 
and I've tried it and it worked very well for me. And so now when I want something, I don't say that I want something. I say that I already have it. And so I like to say that, you know, if you're not profitable yet, let's say that we're talking about trading, if you're not profitable yet, well, say I am a profitable trader, even if it's not true, it may just not have appeared yet into the physical form. You understand? Because once again, the subconscious mind will not be able to tell if that is true and if that is not. So it's what you tell yourself on a everyday basis that motivates your actions. And so if you tell yourself the wrong things, you will not do the right actions to attract what you actually want. And it will attract other things that you may not want. So that is why it is super important to master your subconscious mind and master the law of affirmations. Because even if you try to do good affirmations and positive ones, well, the, just one word can change everything. And I know like it's, it sounds a little bit crazy or, you know, not realistic, but I'm telling you, it is true. And when I say that it doesn't know the difference between a lie and a truth, it's not like my opinion, like it's proven. The subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between a truth and a lie. So whatever you say to yourself, whatever you think about most of the time, this is what you will become in the future because that will motivate and be the reason of your actions that you do on a daily basis and your actions after will attract what you want. So everything start with the mind. And so you must master your subconscious mind in order to do the right things on a conscious level. So that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope that I made it clear because it's not uh, the easiest subject to describe, but I think um, it was pretty clear. So if you have any questions about this or about anything else, don't hesitate to message me. You can do that on Instagram or Facebook. I'm always very happy to talk with you guys. Um, and yeah, if you love this video, please leave a like under the video. I will truly appreciate it. And also you can share it if you think that it can benefit other people. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care and I will see you in the next video.